Okay. All right, so we're doing the state board chemical application. Okay, it's on page 17 of your PSI. All right, um, there's four parts to it. The first part is just preparation. You have 10 minutes just to prepare, okay? So in that 10 minutes, we're gonna get four equal sections on our mannequin. We're gonna apply our protective cream, which is just all the way around the hairline. We're gonna put gloves on, detangle the hair, we're gonna drape her, all that stuff. So here is your contents of your state board bag. So it's gonna be labeled chemical service, okay? You're gonna have your chemical drape and a towel, clips, tint brushes. I have two of these, one I labeled mock bleach and one I labeled mock relaxer. We have foils, weaving comb, gloves. This is just basically a chapstick. It could be one of those little Carmex things or a little tiny lip Vaseline. You just label it protective cream, okay? We have weaving comb, sectioning comb, and this is the last service that you're gonna do, okay? So you're gonna have gel all over your mannequin. So I put a shampoo cap in mine. That way at the end of the service, I can cover up with a shampoo cap and I don't get gel all over my other bag and stuff like that, okay? All right, okay, so in the first 10 minutes, we're gonna section and drape, right? All right, so a chemical drape means that you are going to have a towel, a cape, and a towel. So make sure that the towel goes completely around your drape, okay? So don't worry about whether or not you're smothering her because she's a mannequin, okay? <clears throat> just know that we need a towel on the bottom of our cape and a towel on the top of our cape so as long as we do it this way then we can just fold this down and we have our towel all the way around okay <clears throat> of course if i was actually doing this on a person i would use two towels okay remember if this relaxer or bleach gets on them it's gonna burn those of you who did highlights last week, you already know that bleach burns, right? Okay. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do my four quadrants. And of course, that's gonna be right down the center. And then right behind each ear. You already would have done your haircut, so make sure that when you do your haircut, you're considering that, you know, you don't want to leave this 24 inches long because then you have to apply your mock solution throughout the whole length of the hair. That's going to take you a long time. Again, this section that I'm doing now, it is timed. It is 10 minutes. You've got 10 minutes to do this. So sometimes if you just have to sit there and practice getting your mannequin in four sections, then do that. Just make sure they are in fact equal sections that you have good, clean, straight lines. And that does take some practice. I don't want anybody doing this with one tooth of their comb. You should be using all of your teeth to section your hair. Okay. Of course, I would have already sanitized my hands. Uh, I forgot. Okay, now we're going to put our gloves on. And we're gonna do our protective cream. Again, just make sure you have this turned up. And all you're doing is around the hairline. So you're just protecting that skin all the way around the hairline, around the ears. You could do this for hair color too. A lot of people will do this for hair color so they don't actually stain the skin. Um, 
um, even though I found that it does stain the skin. <laughs> um, maybe I'm not using the right product, but they do sell this stuff. It's just a barrier cream, okay? So you just go put that on there. All right, and then we're ready, right? We're done. We raise our hand, we're done, okay? So first section is going to be foiling. It is not timed. So you're foiling. Um, the raider is going to come and watch you individually. So you wait till she's there. You wait till she tells you to begin. Okay. All you're going to do is two foils. You don't even have to weave them. All you have to do is show that you know how to lock those foils, that you're doing parallel subsections. You have clean lines. You know how to subdivide all that. So I'm going to recommend that you do this in the left rear quadrant because after this you're going to move on to your virgin relaxer and then your relaxer retouch. So you want those to be in the smallest sections of the head. Okay. Because these are timed, this one is not. Okay. <clears throat> all right, when they are watching you, tell you to begin, you're going to have your mop bleach out. You're going to have your foiling comb, your foil, your tint brush. Okay, and then we're just going to do two horizontals. So I'm going to start here. You do want to start where you can comfortably get that foil all the way across the head. So maybe a little bit higher in your section. Right about here. Slice. You can weave if you want to. You don't have to. Make sure that shiny side is facing you when you do your foil. You push up. You should have tension on that hair. You should be very close to the scalp. this from scalp to end, staying inside your foil. And saturate that hair. Grab those ends, pull them out. One, two, lock it in, pull down the sides. inch between foils, parallel to your previous section, and just do another one. I said if you really want to weave you can, but it doesn't say you have to, so I'm not going to waste my time. They just want to see that you have tension on the hair, that you're saturating those ends, that you have a nice thin slice of hair, and you know how to lock your foil. So we do it once, twice, readjust our lip, and fold in, lock in the sides. Okay, and I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my virgin relaxer, which is going to be my front, okay? All right, this is time, so we have 10 minutes, okay? We're doing half inch subsections. We are staying away from the scalp, but getting as close to the scalp as we can without touching it, okay? Is that a pain in the butt? I think so. We're going horizontal, half inch, and then we're staying away from our end. Okay, so we're just doing from here to here. 10 minutes as fast as we can, right? No more foils. All right, so, mock relaxer. And brush. I would go ahead and I would outline my section. So I'm going to pull this nice and tight so I can see all the way around it, okay? And again, I'm staying about a 
quarter of an inch away from the scalp. So they should see that that scalp is dry. an inch. We're starting at the top. Same thing. We want a lot of tension on the hair. I want you to use your hand as a paddle. Okay. And saturate that hair. Okay. Again, make your little X's. You want to come down so that you're keeping that hair nice and neat. But we also want to push that hair from side to side in our little X motion so that we're getting the hair underneath as well. And that, that way you don't have to pull this up and then try to do all this stuff. No. If you'll just do it here and roll that hair back and forth, then you're getting all the way around that hair. And then where it starts to get dry and thin right here, we want to leave that out. If we were really doing a relaxer and we ran this from scalp to ends, then we would burn her scalp and we would burn off these ends, okay? So we're gonna do that, flip that over. Now they do, um, they will put a, sometimes a uh, piece of foil or a uh, paper towel here so that you're not getting it on that person's other hair over there. Is why we have a lot of extras. Okay, well we're gonna pretend it's clean. Okay, we got a new brush. All right, and then we just keep going. Right. Again, pull this hair to where it's all nice and straight. You have tension on it. And you're applying your mop solution. You're not getting it on the scalp. And what happens is this melts. So with the heat of your scalp and the heat of the product, it's gonna melt towards the scalp anyway. So you're, you're gonna get it on the scalp. But we don't want it sitting on the scalp for as long as it takes to apply this through the ends of the hair. Another half inch. And do small strokes so you can see that you're actually pushing that hair and rolling it so that you know you're getting that product all the way through to the other side. Same thing we do with our highlights. So your bleach little box or whatever, that doesn't have to have very much solution in there. Your mock solution could be gel, it could be conditioner, it doesn't matter what it is. But your bleach only needs enough for two foils. So don't pack a bunch of gel in there. What you need a lot of is this because you're doing a scalp to ends application and then you're also going to go on the other side and do a new growth application. So make sure you have enough. But you don't want to oversaturate the hair either and waste your product and all that. Does anybody follow frizzies? Not everybody, evidently. I did a um, shadow root and a color melt the other day that was like a pink and lavender and it came out so pretty and it was over old highlights so really this same application that I'm doing is the same thing it's exactly the same application 
The only thing I did was I varied colors in between. I did a, large, a light and a dark. <clears throat> I stayed away from our new growth because our new growth had a shadow root. So this is the exact same application. What was her name? Her name was Sarah. Oh. Never mind. <clears throat> so when we're done with all of our subsections here and I lay these back down, I'm going to smooth the hair and the product with my comb. So I'm going to have a, a regular comb, an all-purpose, in my bag that I already divided the hair with. So I'm going to grab that and all I'm going to do is use the back of it and I'm just going to smooth that product so that it's even throughout each piece. Okay, bring it down, smooth it on each side. That also helps to push the product through. I know I've gotten it nice and saturated. Did anybody time me? You're at 16 minutes right now. That's not bad. Because I've already done the first 10 minutes and the uh, boiling, right? Mm -hmm. Yay. issue with separating your subsections, then that means you didn't put enough tension on the hair when you applied your product. So make sure you're doing that. Okay. okay. All right. So that is your virgin relaxer. Okay. Now you would come over here. Well, you would raise your hand that you're finished. The raider would come and grade you. You would wait until the next section starts, which is they'll tell you, okay, you may begin. Okay, and then you're gonna take this section out and all you're gonna do is the exact same thing, but you're just doing the new growth, right? So how much new growth? Two inches. Two inches. Staying away from the scalp. does say to stay about a quarter of an inch away from the scalp. So just do your best. And again, when I do this, I'm only coming two inches. Okay, if you don't know what two inches is, then look at a ruler. Don't assume that you know. Okay, same thing. I'm going to take half inch subsections. Pull that here. I'm just doing the first two inches. I am going to use it. Yes, each quadrant is a different procedure. Is that what you mean? Yes. And I am going horizontal across my section. Two inches, pull, flip it over. Just make sure it has product on the other side. Two inches, keep going, half inch subsections. This should be super easy for you considering all the new growth applications you've already done. Okay, 
Okay, so when you do this procedure on Canvas and you're videotaping at home, then I want you to make sure you are uh, timing yourself and you're doing each subsection, I mean each, sec each section, the way that I've shown you. So foil, virgin relaxer, new growth relaxer, okay? Retouch. And I don't expect you to be able to do this in 10 minutes the very first time, but I do expect you to improve, okay? So your first video shouldn't be, you know, 10 minutes each section, but your last video should. Does that make sense? I said this is the last thing that we're gonna do before we walk out of our uh, practical exam so after this we just clean and disinfect our workstation and we leave and hopefully we pass our exam and we're in the parking lot cheering right. okay again your comb Moving that piece, bringing it down. Demonstrating that you know how to smooth, pull as much as you can, try to stay in your subsection. Pull that hair, keep tension on it so that it's nice and straight. Before we raise our hand, we're always cleaning and disinfecting our area. So all of this would go back into my original Ziploc bag. Okay, the only thing that I would probably have in my hand when I raise my hand is my little thing here, because that way I can just cover this whole thing and stick her in my duffel bag and wipe down my whole area and go, right? Okay. Awesome. Good luck.